And they're facing a guy who's got a great, great fastball. Imagine being one of the hardest throwing, most successful relief pitchers in all of baseball. How about that inning from Barnes? It was really a dream come true. It was surreal. It was kind of surreal the whole time. Only to have that script flipped the following season. Look out, that one just takes off. You kind of have it in your mind, like, if I can just get to the big leagues, like, life will be so easy. But it wasn't so easy for then Red Sox pitcher Daniel Bard. After breaking Boston's franchise record at consecutive scoreless appearances in 2011, he was released just two years later, after he developed the yips. To me, that's too, you gotta be kidding me. It's a little too much, Daniel. I mean, Defined as a state of extreme nervousness that affects a pitcher's ability to throw strikes. After his time in Boston, Bard was given opportunities with five other clubs. I knew I was struggling. I knew I wasn't in a great place, but I really felt like I was like one, one good day, one good outing from just turning the corner and being right back to where I was. I genuinely felt that. But he never did make it back to the big leagues. And in 2017, he did what most of us would do. After a coaching stint with the Arizona Diamondbacks, Bard decided to attempt to come back. Colorado Rockies obliged. Nine years having passed since he last felt the satisfaction of recording a major league save. He's got him. They'll finish the play at first and the Rockies win it. Who was the one person you leaned on most during the years where you weren't pitching? Uh, hands down, my wife. <laughs> she was fantastic. I mean, the, the best support system that I could ever ask for. What is the biggest thing you've learned. I try not to take any day at the field for granted. I try to go into every day with that that mindset. You know, that just allows me to be my freest and the best version uh, of myself. I know there's younger players and, and guys, you know, probably in other sports and other other facets of life that go through similar type things uh, where you feel a little bit lost for a while and, and, and knowing that it's not over. There are, you know, ways to get through it. And, you know, trying to use it, any attention I get to try to point Point back toward that to try to give some people some, some hope or inspiration or whatever it might be.